Hi everyone, it's Friday the 3rd of September and we're going into that nice long weekend, Labor Day weekend and uh, it seems to be the unofficial end of the summer even though summer has its ending date usually around the 21st of September it always feels like Labor Day is when we turn the corner a lot of people go back to school or go back to activities and the summer uh, feels like it's moving moving away well if you can get any more out of your summer I hope you can all right let us pray this is a prayer from the offertory of the mass today grant our supplication O Lord that this sacrifice we present in celebration of st. Gregory in all the masses and liturgies around the world today may it all be for our good for the church is good since through its offering you loosen the offenses of all the world amen the scripture for this friday is from colossians 1 brothers and sisters christ jesus is the image of the invisible god the firstborn of all creation for in him were created all things in heaven and on earth he is before all things in him all things hold together he is head of the body of the church. He is beginning the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he himself might be preeminent. The word of the Lord. So Christ gives us a picture of God. Okay, he's the image of the invisible God, but we see God in his incarnation as a human. He's still divine but we mostly see the human picture in Jesus. We also experience him in sacraments, and we also experience him in the fact that it says he's head of the body of the church. So there's he's the head over all of us joined together as the people of God. He's the head over us. So there's a mystical presence that we have of God. So that means the church is not just an organization, you know, some human institution it says Christ is head of the body the church so so we are the embodiment of believers onto Christ so this is a living a living body of believers and it is something of, of eternal life Christ is giving us eternal life in himself we hear about the first the firstborn of all creation so Christ is really the, the author of all humanity and he comes as the unspoiled, you know, human being. And then he becomes the, the lamb without blemish for us, the sacrifice for our sins. Then he's the firstborn from the dead. He rose from the dead. He's the firstborn, meaning the first of many to rise up. And so Christ is going to uh, give us a, a, a united power in in his own rising. So when I say that power, I mean it's his power, but we get to share in what he offers in that power. So it says in him all things hold together. So we have the power of, of being united in him. Okay, All things are preeminent in himself. So we get to know the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, the one who runs everything and all places, all things, all time, so-called time, he's preeminent. He runs everything, and we happen to know him. We're united with him. Isn't that great? And it says that he is the beginning. Uh, I like that. He is the beginning. He's the restart. He is the beginning that will never end. He's the beginning of love forever he is beginning of perfect truth he's beginning of justice he's a beginning of happiness okay and so we call the christian life new life we call we have been been born again we talk about being of a new creation in christ okay so he is the beginning of that and we get to begin as brothers and sisters to Christ this is the new beginning and that's how the letter starts brothers and sisters see that's what we are to each other 
Try to live some of that new beginning today. Try to understand you're in Christ's body today and understand that you are in Christ and afford it all that is because of your connection into him, the Lord of all.